Okay, we are, all right, I am live and it is 6.52, so I'm about eight minutes early, but that's okay. So once you come on, just let me know that you're here and we'll give it till about 7.05 to get started and we'll get the show going. Okie doke. So in the meantime, I'm just going to be doing my thing. my stuff. Did I not bring my up on? Ah. Where's my? All right, I'm here. I'm just having a panic attack for a moment because I can't find my my stamp that I stamped. Okay, let me see here. All right, just let me know if you happen to be. Oh, hey, Karen Joe. I'll be with you in just a second. I just realized, I don't know where I put my um, stamped image. I think I might have stuck it in the same envelope with all the others. Hang on a minute. Because I stamped it. Oh, dadgummit, what did I do with it? Holy moly. All right, hang on. Good thing I'm looking early. I had the daggone thing, and I, what did I do with it? Did I put it in an envelope? Holy crap. Hope you're doing good. <laughs> Of course, I may have to do this real quick. What the hell? I can't find my, um, hang on a minute. Let me make sure it's not in the pile of cardstock here that I have. Oh, here I'm taking my time, thinking, okay, I got lots of time. Everything's going smooth. All right, got all my things, but I don't have my gnome. I cut out, hang on a minute. What did I, I cut three gnomes out so I wouldn't have to do it. Now I'm going to have to do it. So let me see if I got three of them. Oh, they're in here. Good Lord. Let's see. I need this one. Okay. Never mind. Problem solved. I'll sit down in just a second. Ugh, don't know what I was thinking. Having a little bit of a panic attack. All right, let me sit down so you don't have to look at my uh, bod. All right, so that goes over there. Let me get myself back organized again because I had everything ready to go. All right, that goes in that pile. That goes in that pile. Okay, how are you doing? Oh, look at that. Look in the envelope. I did. <laughs> That's where it was. It was in the other envelope. Ah, I know. No, I'm early. Don't, don't worry about it. I just thought I better go through and make sure I got all my stuff and I had put here because I was going to have you all tell me which color uh, to do. But anyways... We'll get, we'll get to it. So I'm going to show y'all what we're going to do here in just a few minutes. So, <laughs> ah, all right, we'll start. It's not even seven o'clock yet. We still got four minutes, so we are good to go. How's everybody? Just covered. I know it was in the envelope with the other two. So we are, I'm good now. I'm not going to stress out anymore. I'm okay. So how's everybody? So, if you um, are here lurking and you would like to uh, let us know you're here, just say hi. And uh, if you're on YouTube, it will tell me your name. And if you're on the Facebook group, uh, then you can be incognito if you'd like to. So, it's no big deal. No big deal. Alrighty. So, I got a lot done today. What's going on with everybody? It was hotter than blazes here, and I hate to say that for the people out uh, in the Midwest since they still have snow and all that mess, but was a, it, it had to be hot in, Bra in Brainton. Oh my gosh, those dolphins. Did you all see my other pictures I posted today? You know, the dolphins love um, you know being around the boats, right? Because they just come up and they love being where the motor is and they all that, whatever. And they go from one side of the boat under the other side of the boat. And every time I see them, I always... I always get excited. I'm like a little kid in a candy store. But, um, excuse me, this morning I posted pictures of, we were going to Cape Coral. Uh, we went over to Cape Coral for lunch. 
um, the Suzy Q is a pontoon boat that Shell Point uh, provides for the residents, and we pay a whopping $10 to go out on it. And we go out from 10 to 2, and we go, and, and the Captain Russ takes us around through the mangroves, and they have a narrator that tells you all about the different species, you know, species and stuff that live here, and about different parts of the area and all that. And then we go have lunch, and then we come back. And so every time we go out, we most, most of the time we run across dolphins. So, um, but this morning I posted, there were two yachts, one yacht, we were heading in towards the Cape Coral area, one yacht, I mean, this just goes to show the power of the water during that hurricane. This was a hum. I mean, I'm talking a yacht. This thing was humongous. It had pull moved it up and had it sit inside, you know, at an angle, um, on the land and they were having to dredge a new channel just to get the boat over to the dock station. I, yeah, it was. It was beached. And then the second one I showed, um, it was in the back of somebody's house. And it. we think the water had to rise. I mean, it must have rose up enough that it carried the, I'm assuming the boat came from one of the, um, the docks there. And the dock to, I think it was either in front of the house or beside that house where the boat was found. Um, I don't know what happened, but whatever. The water rose, I think they said, I don't know, 14 feet or something like that. And I guess, the you know, the water's carrying the boat. And then when the water receded, it just dropped it in the back of these people's yards. Have no idea how they're going to get that thing out of there. They're going to have to get a, um, a crane to lift it, I would assume. But can you imagine having, having a million dollar or so yacht and it's beached? Or it's in the back of somebody's yard? Those were two different boats. No, it wasn't the same one. It was two, two different ones. The one on the beach was the one where I showed the dredging, you know, thing. They were trying to dredge a, tra a channel to get over to some docks over by in the um, fort. I don't even know where we were, but anyways, in that direction. The other one that was behind the house was completely separate. I know, I know, it's just, ugh. And when you go back, if you're in a boat and you go back there, all the mangroves, I didn't post them the last time, but we went a couple weeks ago and I took pictures every, where all the sailboats were, you know, they're um, moored out in the water. It seems like every sailboat or a boat had been picked up and moved and dropped in the mangroves. I mean, we went through this long stretch and there had to be probably 20, I'm talking big sailboats too. I mean, big sailboats and power boats, and they were just like picked up, dropped into these mangroves, one right after the other. It is, I mean, it's sad. I don't even know. My understanding is if you sign your boat over, then the state or the county or whomever will pick the boat up and not charge you for it. But then they, of course, have the rights to do what if it's salvageable to sell it or whatever they can do. But, I mean, just the fact of trying to get something out there to to um, try to get the boat off the mangroves and then see if it's even, you know, a bit, uh, have the ability to even float to be taken to a dock and then the cost of getting it all repaired. It's just, it's craziness. But outside of that, it was nice to be out on the water. I mean, there was a nice breeze and we went to, uh, we went to uh, Cape Coral where the Marriott is and we went to Pinchers and had lunch. And so that was nice. We hadn't been there in months, so... Um, but it was a good time. We always enjoy when we're out on the water, you know? So anyways, that was our excitement. I just, um, I know it is sad. I mean, I just can't even imagine having a boat that size that it just happens to get up all of a sudden, you know, um, your neighbor calls and says, oh, by the way, your boat's in my backyard. I just can't even imagine, you know, but it is sad. And tonight on the news, they were showing the, uh, six month. Uh, where we are in six months and the sad part there is a field of um, uh, FEMA trailers that are sitting there they've been sitting there for six months supposedly to be given to people to use for 18 months and what they haven't gotten them and one lady said the six months started in September so they've already lost what October November December they've already lost three months of this of the 18 months I mean it's just crazy and I know it's all red tape it's just there's got to be a better system to get people back in their homes. This one lady has children, and she said they've just been couch surfing. Her, her, some of her, and then this other person said the kids are staying with their mother, who's been taking them to school. 
and the mom's sleeping at a friend's house, you know, a girlfriend's house or whatever, because they have no place to go. They have no house. No, you know, it's just sad. It's just really sad. But anyways, but you know, I mean, I don't know. It's craziness, but all right. It's 703. That was my neighbor. Um, uh, my tree is in your pool. <laughs> yeah. I know, I can just imagine. Oh, by the way, that's my, my uh, boat that's in your backyard. That's my truck in your front yard. I mean, oh my goodness, so. All right, well, let me go ahead and do my spiel and then we'll get started. Um, for those of you that may be new to my channel, I'm Dawn Duvall. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! and I've been doing this craziness uh, going on 12 years. And if you are new um, and you would like to make a comment, we would greatly appreciate that. And if you like the videos that I'm doing, make sure, and this is for um, my other people that are uh, watching, is if you like uh, what I'm doing, then please make sure that you share my video or at least share it with others. And my, it's going to be filmed, I'm streaming to YouTube as well as our VIP group. And um, if you see it on YouTube, if you'll share it, that just helps me to uh, reach additional YouTube people. Just make sure that you ring the bell, ring the bell, uh, click the bell to stay, to be notified. Um, every time I open or upload a video to um, YouTube. And then, of course, we're on Facebook, so that's awesome. We have 80 degrees, pines, so a wooden neighborhood, wooden neighborhood. Who is that on Facebook that just said that? We have 80, oh, 80 degrees, 80, oh, 80 foot pines. Oh, my goodness, yeah. That's, that's the one thing I think I would be worried about um, with a storm coming is being living in a neighborhood that has a lot of tall trees. So, but anyways, all right, we're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to get started. I'm going to go through a few things first and then we'll st I'm going to show you what we're going to make this evening. I saw the 80 foot. I was thought, at first I said, I thought it meant 80 degrees. I'm like, what? <laughs> so, obviously, I don't know how to read. Okay, I'm going to flip the channel. Well, I'm going to flip the channel. I'm going to flip the channel down on you guys. I'm going to flip the camera down to the uh, table. And as my, um, did you all enjoy, first of all, let me ask you all, did you guys enjoy the uh, One Sheet Wonder that I did last week? If you watched it, let me know what you thought about that. Because I have a membership that's going to be, um, I'm putting the final touches to it. And I'll give you some more information in a couple of weeks. But I just want to know what you all thought about that uh, One Sheet Wonder. Okay, so for the month of March, as always, when you place a $50 order through my online store, um, you will get a 40, uh, 47 projects emailed to you, a tutorial bundle, bundle that is created by myself and 46 other demonstrators. And this spans all of uh, most of the countries that we are located in. So the um, tutorials are in inches as well as centimeters for those or whatever the metric is that they use. Okay, the other thing too is I'm still offering uh, for a $35 order, you would get the cards for the week from Tuesday to the following Tuesday at 5 p.m. Um, so it'd be like tonight through following Tuesday, you would get card kits for what I'm making this week. That's with the $35 order. Of course, if you place a $50 to $5 order, you'll still get the card kits and you'll get the tutorial bundle. And then if you do a $75 order, then you're gonna get a free embellishment the tutorial bundle and the kits. So just to let you know that. Um, the other thing, I watched it, but the video was only like, what? What do you mean it was only like five minutes? It should have been like an um, 45 minutes or so. I'm gonna have to go back and look at it then. Because the one um, that I did last week should have been with me showing you how to cut. Uh, well, maybe it should have been, maybe it was 30 minutes. It would have been with me showing you how to cut the, using the uh, template and cut it. And then I did a second video, so I came back and showed you how I created all the various cards. So maybe 30 minutes. It should have been more than five, that's all I can say. If it wasn't, then I need to go back and look at that. So if that's the case, my apologies. I'm very sorry for that. Um, the other thing is I listened to a leader's, um, some of us that are at a certain um leadership level got to go on a Zoom, or if you got there in time, you, they cut it off at 300, but then they filmed it, um, put it live on Facebook. But there's a lot of things. Now, we are doing a color refresh. They didn't give us any indication of what's staying or what's going. We'll find out more of that towards the end of the week when we get the catalog. But um, they are, um, they did share 
Uh, the markers are being redone, our stamp and write markers. They are gonna have a larger nub on them, you know, the like pencil right inside. That one's gonna be a lot bigger and they're a little bit longer, so that's a good thing. So I'm really excited about that. No, I appreciate you set up a video for us while you were away. Oh no, that's fine. I just, um, I was pretty confident that it should have showed the whole thing. So I'm gonna have to go back and look, take a look at it then. That's my, you know, my, I'm sorry, um, my apologies. Um, so uh, new markers will be um, same, you know, the marker set, but they're just gonna be, they've been redone and refabricated, um, I guess, to make the, the little nubby thing a little bit longer. So that's gonna be something new. And, um, I don't even know if I should share this with you. I don't think I'm supposed to tell you that, but there's, they showed us one piece of uh, design, one uh, designer paper uh, pack, and just say that, um, think about the moon. That's all I can say. It is out of this world. We'll put it that way. It's really pretty. They got some really nice colors. So anyways, there's gonna be um, a new color for refresh. So my point is, if you like any of the new of the end colors that are going out, which are the um, evening evergreen, you know, soft succulent, pale papaya, fresh freesia, and um, polished pink, my recommendation would be to make sure you get your inks, your refills, any of the cardstock embellishments or whatever that you have. Now we don't know which ones they're bringing back a bunch of colors and changing things around, so we're not sure what those are, but. We'll find out. So once I get the catalog, I can probably give you a little bit more um, information. Okay, so with that being said, and then the other thing is if you see this little code right here, TJ2ZUMKK, that's my shopping code for the month of March. And if you decide to place an order and you go through my online store, then make sure you use that code. I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, so this evening, we are gonna be working with the Friendly Gnomes. And of course, with the dies, the gnome dies are um, still available. Well, they're in. I'm not sure if they're in stock yet, but you can still buy these once they are in stock. But uh, this is the friendly gnomes, and we're going to do some. Uh, I'm going to do three cards using the gnomes, but two of them are going to be two cards out of one layout. And this is what I'm going to show you. This is what we're doing. Okay, can y'all see that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of uh, white. Uh, basic white. I'm going to lay these strips of a uh, quarter inch strips of paper. Now I'm doing different colors. This is Bermuda Bay. Uh, this was Bermuda Bay, um, pool party, and flirty flamingo. So um, we're going to we're going to I'm going to put these strips down. Now I used a two and a half. Um, this one I used a little bit smaller circle punch. So I am going to um, run this through the die cutting machine and we're gonna use the layering circle dies. I'm using one that's gonna be a little bit bigger. So what we're going to do is after I cut, do this and run this through, we're gonna pull that piece out and then that circle that we cut out is going right here. Look at that, so you get two for one. How is that, is that not awesome? Now this here, I just have to show you this paper. This was embossed. I, and this is this is like probably old and retired, but let me tell you, you, you probably can't see it because it's on white. I embossed several of these, I'm, I'm gonna say probably three or four, maybe five years ago, and they've been sitting in my, um, my envelope for scraps to use at some point. So I thought, well, what better than to go ahead and use this up? So I took the piece and cut it to fit behind here, and then I've got the piece right here that will add to the new card. All right, and then, um, okay, so what I need you all to do, because I can only look at the computer so many times, I'm going to do one in um, Tahitian Tide, okay? So I'm going to move these out of the way for just a second. So your choice is, now the colors I'm going to be using are these colors here, T Tahitian Tide, Sweet Sorbet, and Parakeet Party. Now, we can do, um, I want a card base, so you all can tell me which would you prefer and uh, put your comments in there now because we don't, you know, we don't want to be here all night. And I can do any of the three. So I have three of them cut. One's going to be Tahitian Tide. We can be, do both Tahitian Tide, Tahitian Tide, or we can switch them up. Okay. So let me know. Hey, Judy from Ohio. Welcome. We are just getting started, and I am just showed uh, the two cards that we're making here. I'm going to show you how you can take. We're going to put some strips on this paper. I'm going to cut it out with the layering circles, and the piece we cut out is going to make the second card, okay? 
So I'm going to use Tahitian Tide for my first card, and then I'm asking you all to leave me a quick comment if you want me to make the second card, the Tahitian Tide, Sweet Sorbet, or Parakeet Party. Okay, so either one of the, you only get to choose one color because that will be my base. That's going to be the card base, and then I'll do all the colors that coordinate. So you get Tahitian Tide, Sorbet, or Parakeet Party for the card base. This one we're already doing, so I'm going to go ahead and fold this one up. We can do two Tahitian Tides. I don't care. doesn't matter to me. So I'm going to fold this one up while I'm waiting for y'all to respond, and we'll see how many we get. And... Um, while I'm waiting, I'm going to go ahead and just fold my cardstock here. And then I think what I'm going to do, so y'all keep doing that. I'm going to go ahead, I need to color my gnome. So since we're doing the uh, Tahitian Tide, I'm going to move this out of the way for just a minute. So you can choose any of the three colors that you would like. All right, so we've got uh, Parakeet Party, Parakeet Party, and we got, all right, so we've got, excuse me, we have two Tahitian Tides and we've got two Parakeet Parties. All right, so... It looks like we might go with Parakeet Party. Well, we'll see. All right, we're going to leave that right there. So if y'all coming on, if you haven't um, responded yet, please do. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and color this little girl while we're waiting. And I'm going to be using all of these coordinating end colors. So, um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to pull in some because we're going to color another gnome on the other card. All right, so I think what I'm going to do for the Tahitian Tide... I think I'm going to do her hat and the Tide, and I'm going to do her outfit in the uh, Sweet Sorbet. I think I'm going to do that. I said Tide twice. Okay, so we have a Tahitian Tide, Parakeet Party. All right, so, so far it's Parakeet Party. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start coloring this while we're waiting. And um, I'm going to go ahead and just, this is the, um, let's see which one. This is the Dark um, Sweet Sorbet. So I'm just going to color hat. I went ahead and cut these out. So while we're waiting, I'm going to go ahead and do some coloring and then I'll uh, start doing the, 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 um, the flappy do thing. Oh, you know what? What did I do with my, let's see, what color hair are we doing for this girl? Look, let's make her hair, um, let's make her hair, um, let's make it like a light brown. Let's do that. So I'm going to use crumb cake and I'm going to color her hair. She's going to have like a sandy brown colored hair. So I'm going to color this, and then when I get done, then we'll start putting our um, strips together. So this way I can kind of kill some time while y'all are uh, deciding what, what colors you want. So, but this is really an easy card. I thought, what a cute, you know, I, I, you know what a great idea. I, for, I forgot, you know, when you do that, you always get that negative, right? So why not put that negative to use and use it, right? Okay, so we're going to... I'm going to color her shoes. I think I'm going to do these. Um, what color did I color her shoes here? Oh, I colored those. Did I color those black? I think I did. Let's do, let's color them. Let's color them black. Why not? She'll have black shoes. And then we'll color the inside to match. So I'm just going to do um, a little bit of the light. And these are the Stampin' Blends that I'm using. And this is uh, the light basic black. Probably should have done gray because this is really dark, but that's okay. All right, so we're gonna color this in. And since I've um, cut this, then I have to really stay within the lines, right? Because if I don't, we're gonna have a big problem here. And then I'm gonna color that inside uh, part of her shoe to match her outfit once I figure out what I'm gonna do, okay? All right, so let me take my um, crumb cake and I don't know what these things are. I'm assuming they're ribbons, but I'm just going to color them the color of her hair because I have no idea what they're supposed to be. I, maybe it's her hair hanging out. I don't know. Oh, I know what I need. I've got to get my um, her skin color. So let's see. Uh, let me get my pale papaya. Hang on. Let me grab that real quick. It's right here. Got it right here. All right. So let's color her face and then we'll, um, we'll get moving here because I tell you what, I'm either the caps are getting harder to put on or I'm getting weaker. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm having a hard time opening these caps, I'll tell you. And I'm going to make these, to me, these look like mittens, but I'm just going to, we're going to make it look like it's her hands. You know what I mean? So there's her face. There's her little face. And then we're going to do, I'm going to do her outfit and um, where's my dark? Okay, I'm going to do her, sh um, her little outfit 
in Sweet Sorbet. This is the light. And then I'll come back and um, add some definition to that. So, and I pre-cut these because I figured it would be a lot easier. And let's see, this is the light. So I'm gonna do her, um, this part here is gonna be the light as well. So I'm gonna make all this light. And the bottom part, we're gonna do a little bit darker. And then I'm just gonna leave her, um, her little blouse, I'm gonna leave it like it's white. So let me just color this in. Don't y'all just love it when you have to sit and watch somebody color? And these are such little tiny spots, you know, so you gotta be really careful when you're in here coloring. Oh wait, we need to do, um, let's see, do I wanna do, yeah, let's do her collar. Well, her blouse is probably white, isn't it? All right, let's see. All right, let me come back and do a little bit. I'm gonna do a little bit of, sh um, this down here is gonna be dark. Let me, well, that's not dark, is it? Yeah, it is. It's not gonna show up very much, is it? All right, we're making her in a whole red outfit. I should have cut, I should have done this a different color. That's all right, we're gonna make it look darker. That's okay, and we're gonna color these little guys here. They're gonna be dark too. So she's gonna be in all red. All right, and let's do, um, let's do her hat. We're gonna do that in Tahitian Tide. So let's come in. Uh, let me do, let me start with the dark and just make some little marks where the artist has done a few little things here. And then we'll go in and start coloring. Coloring these, now I'm using the tip here. I have no idea what these colors, I mean, obviously they go together or they want to put them together, but that's why I chose them. And they're in color, so these are gonna be carrying over, but the ones that came out the year before, they are going to be retiring. I really hope that evening evergreen stays. I really like that color because I love it, such a rich green, dark green but I don't know. I guess we'll find out when we get our catalog. Okay, so we've got our hat colored, and let's see, what do I wanna do her shoes? Well, I don't wanna do, let's make them, no, I don't wanna do that, do I? Nah, let's do, I don't wanna make them all red. Let's do a little liney. Let's just put a little line right there. All right, so you're giving her life, yay! All right, so I guess we're gonna go with, um, Prayer Keep Party for the second card, which is, that'll be fun. Okay, so we're going to leave that one over there for a minute. Okay, so let's see. We've got her. Do I have her? Yeah, I think I've got her. Let's do her collar because I know it's a white shirt, but it looks kind of naked. So let's just make it. She's going to be in all red. That wasn't very smart, was it, on my part? But that's okay. All right, so she's colored. All right, so there's that. So let's move these guys out of the way for now. And then I'm going to bring in, let me find my, put these over here because i got another one. I think you need, do you think I need to clean my um, bone folder? Is that kind of nasty looking? All right, so here we go. We are going to start with, now if I can find my paper. I swear, I feel like, you know, I feel like I'm a, being like a blonde here. What do I do with my paper? I just had it in my hand. Oh, here it is. Okay. All right, this piece of paper here is three and a half by five and a half, because it's gonna go from top to bottom of our card, but we're gonna leave a little spaces on the side, okay? So we're putting her over there out of the way. We've already got her colored. And, oh, you know what? I need the other one. Uh, that's what I did. I didn't pull out the other gnome. I got another gnome to color, but we'll do him on the next, on when we get ready to do his card. I wasn't thinking. See, I told you guys. This is what happens when you get your stuff cut early and you're sitting around, you know, thinking you got everything done and you weren't paying attention. And then I started working on my cards for my um, for my class here at Shell Point. I've got 16 people signed up so far, so that's pretty good. One class is sold out; the other one still has openings. Okay, so we're gonna we'll color him, but we'll do that in just a minute. Okay, so I've taken strips of a quarter inch of the Tahitian Tide, the Sweet Sorbet, and the uh, Parakeet Party. So what I'm going to do, and I know this is probably going to be monotonous, and I probably should have done this most of it before y'all came on board, but that's okay. Um, I am going to add adhesive. Actually, it might be quicker. Well, no, maybe not. 
All right, so I'm gonna add adhesive to the back and we're just gonna start lining these up on my card. I made a little mark of where I wanted it to start and stop so that when I put, I'm gonna run this through the die cutting machine, I wanna make sure I had enough on each end, okay? And we're gonna use that, I think that's like the second largest circle if I'm not mistaken. All right, so let's see. Well, let's see if we can get our glue to cooperate. There we go, got a big blob come out. All right, so let's do that. Whoops, and we'll start as soon as I find the tweezers. And we're gonna start loading this. Um, we're just gonna start lining them up. And I'm just gonna layer them on here and then just leave a little bit of a space in between. And if they go off the edge a little bit, that's okay, because I'll go back and trim it. Okay, let me just make sure that looks straight and then I can adjust it. And I got glue right there, so let's pull that off. Okay, all right, so now we're just gonna go and I'm just gonna do um, whatever. There's no rhyme or reason what I'm doing here. So I'm just gonna lay these on here. I'm gonna leave a little bit of a gap and I'm just eyeballing it. So in case you're wondering how much space, do whatever you feel like doing, okay? I'm just gonna leave a little space between each one. I just thought this was something different to do, you know? So we'll try to keep our spaces even and I think I want to push them a little bit closer together. Let me see if this one's moved. Let me see if I can move him a little bit. Yeah, I think I want a little bit more. I don't want as much, that much space. Let's see. Hang on a minute. We should be able to lift him up, hopefully. Maybe not. Come on, Bella. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Well, maybe I might can pull him off. We'll just make that go away. Hang on a minute. See, that's what, I, that's what happens when you try to change things after the glue is dried. All right, so we're gonna move it a little bit closer, like that, and then I probably should be able to get this one moved up. If not, we'll just, we're gonna flip the thing over. Nah, that'll work, because it's gonna be hidden anyways. Uh, let's see, I think I've got enough. You know what, let's do this again. Um, we don't want to do that. All right, I'm going to toss that. Let me get another piece. Three and a half by five and a quarter. Give me a second. Let me cut this again. I'm going to rechange that because I don't like three and a half by five and a half. I don't, um, there we go. I don't like what I did. I want a little bit more. I don't want as much white space between it. So we'll just chuck him off to the side. All right, we're going to start again here. Sorry about that. Okay, here we go. Let's try this again. And if I need more, I'll just cut a few more little strips. This way I don't get so much glue on here anyways. Okay, sorry about that. So we're gonna start right about, probably right about here. I think that's probably good. Get the green off my fingers. All right, now we're rolling. Sorry guys. And the dog is clicking around. And so I'm gonna put just a little bit less white space between them, about like that. Okay, there we go. Now we're moving. And if I need a few more, I can just cut a few more. I cut a couple of extra just to be on the safe side. So we'll see how that goes. I think that looks good. And we're just gonna line them up. So you pick, you can pick whatever colors you want. And that's the kind of cool part. So, you know, if you've got scraps laying around, right? It's a great way to use up scraps of paper. Just cut little strips and you can make them as as wide as you want or not as wide, um, depending on what you wanna put in the center. You know, you can make a square, it can be a circle, it could be a heart. You know, you could cut out a heart shape. Let me put some, I got too much glue on there. Um, you could do a heart shape and, um, you know, whatever, whatever works. Ooh, that one's too big, isn't he? Oh well, he'll be the one that's gonna stand out. He'll be the odd man out. I'm trying to see if they're straight. Eh, it's all right. It'll go. They're not, we're going to have to see. It's going to be hidden anyways by the gnome. All right, so this is what we're doing. <laughs> all right, so we'll just keep adding some strips here. This little guy right here, that little um, Tahitian tie. Let me slide this over. This one right here is a little too big, but that's all right. Let's see. We got Tahitian tied. We need to come back with our glue. And we'll put that on here. Okay, so, all right, so 
um, so I guess the video then y'all say are telling me then that you didn't get it didn't show very much is that what you're saying well I'm very disappointed then I'm gonna have to fix that we are gonna be gone for two weeks in May we're gonna be going to the Caribbean and um, I think that's good I don't think I need to come down any further let me just check yeah, I think I'll come down one more uh, we're gonna be going to the Caribbean my husband used to uh, run charter boats down there, and he used to have a, a, a catamaran uh, back way before me. And um, so we are going to get a bear boat, which means he is going to be the captain. And uh, we've got two other couples that are going. He is just—he's been spending so much time trying to get our food rations. You know, we got—we have to order all our food uh, the day we pick up the boat because once we leave, um, there's no there's no place to get. Um, I mean, there might be a few places to get a few items, but no, you know, no grocery stores or anything like that because we're going to the British Virgin Islands. So he's been working on that crazy, right? And um, so we've been now I'm going to trim the edges off of here just a little bit. Um, so he has been working on that. So I, anyway, so I thought I would record some videos for you all while I'm gone because I don't want you all to go on a Tuesday night without seeing my lovely face. <laughs> Or my hands I should say so okay so we've got that cut all right now what I'm going to do I mean not cut I'm going to take my circle die I'm gonna lay it right on here okay and we're gonna cut this out we're gonna run it through the die cutting machine if I can get all the stuff off my fingers I'm gonna tape this down because I want to keep it hopefully get it even let me just flip this thing over and I'm gonna rub on it really good to make sure that they're all on here okay all right so I am going to lay this here, and I think that probably looks good. So we're just going to tack it down right there. I don't think, yeah, let's go ahead and tack it down here too. Why not? Okay, so let's bring in the little baby machine. And look at this stuff. I need to clean my stuff. My goodness, I look like a slob, doesn't it? It's all dirty. I gotta get. I need to get my act together. <laughs> Now look at that, I just got glue all over me. Where in the world did that come from? Hang on a minute, let me wipe this off. Good Lord. I'm gonna wipe it on my craft mat. All right, let's see, give me a second. I've got a napkin right here, I have to wipe it off. I'll clean it later. Okay, so we're gonna get this guy in here and we're gonna run it through and get this thing cut. Don't you love this little guy? It's so nice. I just put the new plates, uh, clean plates in it, just for you guys. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. We don't need this anymore. And then we're going to take this. Let me get this off of here. Okay, so now we're going to pop this piece out. Take off my removable tape. And then I always keep this. You can usually get about probably five or six uses out of them. All right, so there we go. There's that, all right? So that's that, and then this is the one that we're gonna use on the other card. So we're gonna just set that aside until we get ready to do that one, okay? All right, so we're moving along. Y'all still with me? I'd rather be going to be. <laughs> well, come on, let's go. All right, so now I have this. So now what I've done is I've taken that, you can do any kind of um, piece that you want as far as your embossing piece and just make it you know the same size or width of your card or shorter but you want it to be able to uh, show through your card right so I'm just gonna glue this to the back of my card and actually I think I'm gonna use my um, uh, my seal because of this being um, uh, you know raised up so I'm gonna put a little bit of seal right here at the top and then I'll do some on the sides and at the bottom. And then we'll attach this. So we just want enough to cover up our circle, right? So it really doesn't matter where it goes, just as long as it's in, it's in there. Now, if you had a pattern, obviously, I went got this a little crooked in the um, machine. Um, obviously, if you've got um, a pattern, you'd wanna make sure it's going in the right direction, right? And I've got a little bit of glue right here, so give me one second. Let me get this off of here. All right, and then we're gonna add this to our card base. And I'm just gonna put it down flat. We could, um, 
and I'll probably trim it because it is a little bit long, but we'll get it on here and then we'll trim it. Um, I'm gonna have to get my glue off here. Hang on. I got glue all over everywhere since I squirted it out earlier. Okay, so let me uh, bring the paper, now let me get it on here. I'd rather do it first that way. Let's go ahead and glue this down and then I'll stamp my sentiment and then we will be ready to move on to make that other card. So I'm just gonna put glue all around here adhesive I should say and this is the multi-purpose glue you all know it's my favorite right it is becoming my favorite all right so we're gonna lay this down and it's gonna go top to bottom so I'm gonna lay it and we'll have some edges on each side so I'm gonna make sure that we're lined up and I'm just gonna push it down and get that there and I've got some hanging off I have got glue all over everywhere good lord I love those um, these erasers. I wish we still sold them. Okay, so we've got that. I'm gonna bring in my paper trimmer because I, um, nah, let me go ahead. I can cut it with my snips. I'm just gonna snip it. Yeah, I got the right bottom. So we're gonna snip this off right here and just follow the edge of your card and snip off the little piece. I don't know, I must've been, uh, I must've cut this at, I don't know what I cut it at. Okay, all right, so there's that. You know, I probably should have stamped this before I glued it on there, right? <laughs> but leave it to Dawn. All right, so we're gonna stamp our sentiment, which says, there's no one better than you. And we're gonna do this in the Tahitian Tide so it coordinates with our cardstock. And give me one second, I'm gonna get some of the glue off of here. Good Lord, I got glue all over the place. Okay. All right, so we're gonna do that. And this is gonna go right here. I think I might have to make some more of these. I think this is kind of neat. You can get two cards out of one. All right, so there's our sentiment. So let's move this out of the way. And then we're gonna tell you what, that craft mat can't be used right now. It's got so much glue on it. Good Lord. <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna take our gnome and we're gonna place, oh, it's him. So we're gonna put him, let's color him real quick since I didn't do that. Uh, da, 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 da. What do we wanna do? Let's see. Let's do him in, I don't want orchid because I'm not using that color. Why did I, oh, that goes in the other batch. Let's do um, the red and the green. Let's do his hat in, let's do his hat in parakeet party. How's that? And we'll do these little flowers and I've got my, um, my smoky slate no that's the black where's my smoky slate hang on i know i've got one in here hold on a minute smoky slate we're going to do that for his beard okay so let's color his face let's go ahead and get that done this one's a little strange because his beard's right there right so we got to be careful that we kind of stick with where his beard is and where his face is covered up so i'm going to do this All right, and then I think we'll do, let's, oh, let's give him a red hat. Since we did her in red and blue, let's give him a red hat and we'll do him in um, tempting, tur uh, not temp tempting turquoise, boy, that's an old color. Um, let's do his hat in parakeet, no, let's do his hat in red, and I'll do his um, shirt and pants in the parakeet. It's not going to be much color, though, but that's okay. So let's do that. We're going to color. We'll color his pants. We'll do, in, do him in parakeet. That's a bright color, isn't it? It's really a pretty color, though. So we're just going to do that and bring in his little shorts or pants or whatever they are. Oh, I didn't color his hands, did I? Let me do that real quick. And then we've got another um, fun card when we get done that we'll be doing. All right, so there's that. And then we're gonna make his shoes, my nose is itching, good Lord. Um, let's make his shoes brown. And this is the dark crumb cake, so I'm gonna go with dark crumb cake. It's probably gonna be too dark for these light colors, but that's okay. And we're gonna color that. You know, the nice thing about doing this is, you know, you it's your it's your stuff, so you get to color it whatever color you would like, right? 
So let's take our red and let's go ahead and do his hat real quick and then we can get him done and then we'll start on our other card. I'm just going back where the artist has made some little lines so that we can give some shading. My dog is laying on the couch and she's uh, digging. I don't know what the hell, she's rooting around. I don't know what she's doing. All right, so we're gonna come in here with our light and we're gonna color. And I'm gonna be careful not to go out of the lines because I'm using the big fat tip. So I have to be careful because that ink is gonna spread. So that's why I'm trying to stay somewhat away from the edges. And then I'll come back with the little nubby piece because I don't want it to um, spread and then get on something else. So, all right, so let's call it, let's do that. And whoops, stuck to my finger. And let's um, come back and fill in where I did not color it. All right, and then I think we'll make his flowers since we're doing everything um, similar. Let's do his flowers in um, the um, Tahitian. And this is Smoky Slate Light. So I'm just going to do this to make his beard look like it's kind of gray. I'm just following the lines that the artist has done. All right. And then we'll come back. So let me put these over here because I've got another, we're going to be doing another coloring. That goes in that pile. Let's see. We're going to do Tahitian Tide. So let's pull in our Tahitian and we are going to color our flowers in his beard. So I'm going to put the dark in the center and then we'll color the flowers with the uh, light Tahitian Tide. Kind of reminds me of the 60s of the um, flower children, right? Not that, um, I mean, I was born in 58, so obviously I was around, but I didn't know what was, what was going on, that's for sure. All right, so we're gonna take him, and I'm just gonna lay him in here, and I'm gonna put him down with his feet a little bit below so it looks like he's coming out of the card, okay? And I'm just gonna add adhesive to him. So let's make sure, see if we can do this without adding a bunch of glue. So we'll just put some on here. You can hardly see it, so you can see where the uh, colors uh, bled through, huh? All right, so let's get our tweezers. How are we with the time? Oh my God, it's already 20 till. Holy moly, people. All right, so we're gonna put him right there. So there's our first card. Isn't that cute? Just like the other one, but in different colors. Okay, we're moving along here. This won't take us too long. Oh, I need a piece of white, don't I? Uh -huh. All right, so we're gonna fold this in half and score it. Well, I'm gonna fold it in half. That's gonna be the score. All right, so this is our parakeet party. Now, what we're gonna do is we are going to stamp our white piece here using our um, memento black and our balloons. So we're going to stamp some balloons. We might run over time. I, hope, um, I didn't realize how late it was. I must have been running my mouth or something. All right, I'm just going to randomly stamp the balloons like, whoops, like I did before. Let me see if I might be able to fix that. I might be able to cover that one up like that. And I'm just going to kind of have them up going like I did before where they're kind of coming down. And well, this guy's got, I got a little bit too much ink on this one. Let's try that again. And we'll do one right up here. And then let's do one uh, like I did over here. Let's do one on this side. Let me get sure we get enough. And that's probably going to get covered up with our paper, so I'm not going to worry about that. All right, so let's move this over here. All right, so let's color. We're going to go back to our coloring again. I'm just gonna use the light colors. And again, everything is gonna be in the same color scheme that we've been doing. So we're just gonna alternate the colors. So I think I'm gonna do the parakeet in the center. So we'll do, um, we'll do parakeet here. And then I'm gonna do this one as a parakeet as well. And I know the only bad thing about when you use the tips of your markers, they tend to flatten them out and then, I don't know, they get kind of wonky. All right, so we'll do that. And then we'll do, um, see, this one's going to be on the, or so we'll do um, the sweet sorbet on the inside, I mean the outside, so that way we don't have too much green right next to each other. So we'll just do that. Oh, I got to go back and do his little 
thing on his tail on this balloon. All right, so we're gonna color this in. And I'm gonna do this one. Let's see, that's gonna be Tahitian. And we'll do this one. I just try to keep the colors um, kind of the same, but you can color your balloons whatever you want. You don't have to keep them the same colors as your card, you know. So we'll leave that so it gives it some shadow. All right, and then, oops, let's do that. Let me color that little guy in there. All right, and we'll bring back this little guy and do his little part of his tail of the balloon. All right, and then we're gonna come in with the Tahitian light. Is this light? Yeah. Yes, I wanna make sure because I don't wanna put the dark on here. And we'll just come in with the light and color that. This is really an easy card to make. You know, there's not a whole lot. And you can change it up however you want to do it, right? With whatever colors that you like. And... and that way, it's going to all coordinate. Hello from Jacksonboro, Tennessee. How are you? Welcome. Okay, so um, we'll put these off to the side. And then now what we're going to do with this one is we are going to take this piece, what I cut off from the other one, and we're going to glue that right there. See, so that kind of hides some of those balloon mistakes that I had. So we're going to um, we're gonna glue this down. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to use my um, seal since we're using a emboss. Sometimes when you uh, use an embossed um, embossing folder, you might want to put a little bit stronger um, adhesive on it. So I'm going to put this right about here. So that kind of covers up those little tails that didn't do very well. All right. So we've got that. And then we're going to take this circle from what we punched out of here and we're going to lay this right here. Isn't that cute? And I'm going to turn it this way so we have some color up here around the balloons. All right. So I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. And this is going to, um, all of these are going to be laid flat. Okay. So I'm just going to add the seal. And again, I thought this was a, just a cute way that you can make two cards out of one, you know, one thing. All right, so we're going to lay that right about there. Is that even? That probably looks center, doesn't it? All right, and then we're going to pop her up on dimensionals, and then we're going to stamp our sentiment. And I'm going to do the same thing I did there. So sometimes if you don't have room um, for your sentiment, then we can cut it apart and put it on there. Uh, still get the same sentiment that you want, but we're just going to cut it in pieces instead of stamping it as a whole one. Does that make sense? Um, so let me just get these off of here. I've got one right there. And then we'll move on to our next card. All right, so we are going to put her right about there. Okay. And then we're going to stamp the same thing. Uh, wishing you the most magical uh, birthday. So I'm going to stamp that in Memento Black, and then I'm just going to have to fussy cut, so you all are going to have to watch me do that. And we're going to stamp that right about here, okay? And then we'll just cut out the words, and then we're going to place them where we think we can fit them, okay? So we've got this little area, and we can put some up there too. It's no big deal. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the uh, wishing you, so I'm gonna just take this and kind of do a little bit of fussy cutting around and get these cut so that I can then, we'll figure out what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one out. This one I'm just gonna probably do um, straight across because it really isn't much. I'll trim it um, on the sides a little bit because we don't need all that. I'll probably come over here just a tad, but we'll fix that. And then the magical we're going to cut because that's pretty much, um, we can get that pretty straight across. And then we'll come back with the birthdays. And then this one I'll just do some, um, we'll do a little bit of the fussy cutting. And we'll come back around. And just another way that you can get your sentiments in here. So we'll just kind of give it a little bit of a, a little bit so it doesn't look like it's um, just completely straight across. All right, so we'll do that, and then I'm going to come around this way and just kind of curl it off to the end. 
All right, so we have um, birthdays, and then we're going to come up with the magical. I'm going to go ahead and cut this one straight across as well. He's going to be the straight guy. And we're going to, we're going to, I think I'll slant him. We'll do him at, well, let's do him in a slant. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. All right, so we've got that. And then the, um, the most, I think we're just going to leave it. I'm just going to kind of trim it a little bit around. And since I did this one, let me go ahead and come back around. Just do it a little bit better because it looked a little messy there. We'll just cut it down like that. Okay. All right. And then we've got wishing you, which we're probably just going to do straight across. And then I'll come back. And just trim up the sides a little bit. I think this one will just kind of leave it straight. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, because it's not going to be much. Let's just do that. All right, so then what I'm going to do, let me move all these scraps out of my way. All right, so we're just going to place that on here. So we're going to put wishing you, and we can actually, we'll do it like that, because that's, that's okay if it hangs over. Let's put this on the card first, and then we'll go ahead and attach our sentiments then that way we can kind of get a better idea of what they're going to look like. So let's, um, let me grab my other um, silicone mat since I got that one full of uh, glue. Give me one second. And since I put a big glob of glue on that one. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get this guy down. And we'll just put some adhesive on the back of that. All right, so let's get him or get her on here, I should say. And we're going to put that. Oh, isn't that pretty? That bright colors. All right, so let's do uh, Wishing You. And again, I'm just going to lay these down flat. You can put them up on dimensionals, but I'm thinking flat's probably going to be a little bit better. And we'll get that there. My dog, I think, is going to have to have some surgery on her foot. She had surgery a couple years ago, and I think because something's coming back that she had. Um, hmm. Let me hang on. Let me see how I'm going to do this. We'll put wishing you. I'm going to put it like that. So it's going to be a little crooked, but that's all right. We'll put that there. The most. Anyway, she keeps licking her paw. She's got a growth on the top of her foot. Um, two years ago, I had to take her in. She had a, we were out in the motorhome, and this, whoopsie, um, she had this, I looked down, I didn't even notice it, so I'm a bad dog mom. Um, she had this big um, thing that had grown. It was like purple, looked like a purple grape. And so I sent a picture to my vet because I was like having a panic attack. And um, he said, you know, as soon as you get back in, bring her in. So I took her in and they did surgery and it was cancer, but it wasn't um, the kind that spreads or whatever. But he wasn't sure if he got all the margins because her little legs are so so daggone small. He had a hard time trying to sew her up. And th this one was on her elbow, um, her right uh, left elbow. So this is the same foot, um, but now she's got one on the top of her paw. So uh, she's got an appointment on um, she's got an appointment on Thursday to go see the vet. So we'll see what he has to say. Poor baby. But so she's licking it all the time, and of course I'm yelling at her because I can't stand to listen to her licking her foot. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna put this down there. I'm just, I'm putting it on it. It's a birthday card, right? Okay, so there are the two cards. Let me pull the other one in. So there's, there are the two cards that we made using that one uh, design where we placed the strips of paper, cut it out, and then we use that cutout. Isn't that cool? Hi, Mary Sickler, how are you? So um, thank you for casing them. I appreciate that. All right, so there's those two cards, all right? And then uh, for those that might gotten in here or came late, here's what I did initially. I did them in Bermuda Bay, and then those of you all chose to do Parakeet Party and Tahitian Tide. All right, we have one more card. This one shouldn't take too long, other than I got a color again. All right, this one, again, we're using the Friendly Gnomes. So I'm taking a piece. Now, this piece of paper, I think, was um, designer paper was in the celebration, if I'm not mistaken, so... I grabbed it just because I like the colors. Normally, I try not to use stuff that's retired, but I couldn't help myself. Okay, so let me bring in my stuff because we got to do some coloring here because I got to color the mushroom. All right, we're going to use um, Mossy 
um, meadow, eight and a half by five and a half. And of course, you know me. Sometimes I use my scoring board or my or my paper trimmer to score, but sometimes it's easier just to fold it in half and just burnish it really good. And this shouldn't take too long, so we may run over about probably 15, maybe 15 minutes. Oh, look at that. I did this one this way, and then th I did this one this way. What a dork, but that's okay. Same thing, no difference. Whatever. All right, so this is what I did on this one. This one was four and a, um, four and a quarter by five, um, 11. And this was on the starry sky with the, with the uh, coordinating ribbon. And then we used um, rich razzleberry. All right, so this one we're doing mossy meadow. So, whoops, I think I just dropped something. No, I didn't. All right, we're, doing, we're gonna do mossy meadow. Now, what I was thinking of doing is using, and I think this will look fine, this green twine, um, it's the parakeet twine. I think that's gonna go okay. So I'm gonna wrap this around. I'm gonna wrap it and do it like a crisscross thing. So let's go ahead and get that so that way I can lay my card down. And I'm just gonna wrap it a couple of times. Um, I'm just gonna keep pulling it until I get what I want. And then this one, and then I'll adjust it according to how, whoopsie, I'll adjust it to how I want it. So let me just, um, oops, let me cut a piece. Okay. All right, so we're gonna, I'm just gonna wrap it into like a, an X crossing it over, and I may do it a couple of times. So if I've got enough uh, room, yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna tack that down there. Actually, we probably could bring it, no, I don't like that. Let's do, uh, let me bring this one. I got too much, so hold on a minute. Let me adjust it. I'm going the opposite way. Hold on, I got way too much but that's okay, we're gonna make it work. All right, that's gonna come this way, we'll have to trim it off. And I want this one, I want you to crisscross. So hold on a minute, guys, oh, here we go. And then I'll slide it up, it's no big deal. I think I can do it um, three ways, let me see. We'll just do it with a crisscross there. We'll put this one here. And pull him down, we'll just We'll just do it like that. You're not going to really see it because it's going to be hidden. So I'm just going to glue this on the back and trim it off. Trim off any um, ex excess that I have, which I have a lot, but that's all right. So we'll just trim that, and then we're going to stick this piece here, and then we can move this to how we want it. So I'm just going to trim, trim that off, okay? So, uh, and then I can move it up or down or however I want it. So I think I want this one, which is the one I just glued down. So I can undo him. I know. I'm a little, I'm really not that particular, but sometimes I am, and I get a little obsessed with things. Isn't that weird? Oh my gosh, if I can't find something at the house, oh my, I've got, uh, then I go completely crazy. All right, so I'm going to do it like that. I'm going to leave the card just like that. I may have to move it up. We'll see. So I'm going to adjust it, and I think that'll work. Let's go with that. Isn't that pretty paper on the back? I hardly use this paper. Now I'm regretting that I didn't. But um, I'll do some one sheet wonders and we'll use it for that. I like the, um, when the paper is retired because that way I can use it for the one sheet wonders. And I make a bunch of birthday cards and I send them out. So, um, which I haven't done. So if y'all are interested and you wanna be on my birthday list, shoot me a message and give me your birth date and your address and I'll put you on my birthday list. All right, so we're gonna put that down there. All right, now. I cut a circle using the um, pearlescent um, shimmer paper, and we're gonna stamp the gnome on here, um, the uh, house. We're gonna do that in black, so let me get moving here. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. Put this over here. We gotta color our gnome too, so it's another coloring thing we need to do. All right, so let's get this out of the way. And I need, um, yeah, we're gonna do some coloring because we're gonna do the gnome, and then we're gonna do a squirrel. So I am gonna uh, put this right on here. Hopefully I've got it on there straight. I thought this was a cute card. Okay, we've got that. And then, let's see, what else do I need? I need to um, do my squirrel, so let me do that. And I'm gonna color, let me, uh, and I'm gonna, I have to fussy cut him out. So, but he's not gonna take that, that long to do. Okay, so let's move these guys out of the way and move the squirrel out of the way. Okay, 
So I guess the squirrel is going to be brown. What do y'all think? <laughs> that makes sense, right? And this is dark crumb cake. So let's make him dark. He's going to be a dark squirrel. Or we can make him light. I could do that. I might have to yell at my dog. I hear her. Nah, we'll make him dark. Why not? She just gets obsessed. Do you have dogs that lick their feet and they just are obsessed with licking and they just don't stop? And then I have to yell. And plus, she's getting older. So, um, I have to smack my hands. Oh, I haven't told you all. Did I tell you all? No, I didn't see you all last week. We started our first therapy visit um, two weeks ago. We're going to go back tomorrow. We had, we had so much fun. They asked us to come to the um, memory care, which is a uh, little higher up memory care. Um, where they're in lockdown mode and um, we went up there of course these people it was right they had me come at one o'clock are you a new video maker I've been doing um, Facebook well I've been doing Facebook lives for several years but I just started streaming to my Facebook page I mean to my YouTube page um, I normally will upload my videos before I start a streaming to YouTube I, I usually upload them to my YouTube channel so, so anyway, so we go up to the um, memory care and nobody really wanted to see the dog. You know, they were busy eating and they just really didn't have any desire. So I thought, okay, well, the lady, uh, the activities director said, you know, um, there's a, the third floor is, um, um, rehab. So if you have time, you can go down there. Well, let me tell you what we went down there. We, and we're talking, the, this is in like a medical center. So it's like a big hospital floor, right? So we went down there. I only got halfway through the, the floor. The dog can only do 45 minutes to an hour, and they, they, they're they done. They can't do much longer than that because it's a lot of work for them. Plus, she's walking. She, You know, we haven't done therapy. I mean, we've done it once then, now since COVID. So she's out of shape, just like her mama. And um, so anyways, so we um, we get down into... Uh, into um, the rehab oh my gosh this one lady she had a broken leg and something else with her leg and um, she was sitting in the chair and the the technician I guess the PT girl was trying to get her up to walk and she said oh I can't she goes it hurts so bad I'm gonna scream I said well just scream if it hurts who cares I said Riley said it's fine so Riley she's petting Riley and she's you know so we said goodbye told her we'd see her later and um so then we go around, we see this one man get permission to come in his room. She sits on his lap and he said, this dog looked just like his dog that he used to have. And so she's looking out the window like a nosy person, looking at everything going on. And, um, all right, let me think for a second. Cause I'm going to, I'm going to do some coloring here. I got to figure out what I'm doing. And, um, I guess we'll use our mossy meadow for the grass and we'll do, um, I think we'll do the purple, the rich raspberry for the thing. And we'll do this for the flower. We'll do that. How's that? I'm going to move this out of the way and move that out of the way. So, um, anyway, so we leave his room and we're walking down the hallway and I see a lady sitting in this room and she's doing a puzzle and her husband was laying in the bed and I said, oh, would you like to um, have a visit from the dog? Oh, yes, bring her in. We love dogs. And I said, great. So, Riley and I go in there and um, he's laying in the bed. So, I got permission. I could put her in the bed because that's what you have to do. And she's small enough that she's allowed to get in the bed. And, um, oh my God, she's laying there. He's sitting there. She's sitting there. He's laying there. He's petting her. And next thing I know, the dog lays down in the bed. And, um, I said, I told the wife, I said, well, I guess I'm gonna have to come back. My dog's going to take a nap with your husband. She just started laughing. It was the funniest thing. Well, I can't tell you how many people came up and thanked us for, um, doing our therapy work and coming up there i was just just amazed i'm going to use a crumb cake because i know i'm talking too much um i'm going to use crumb cake to color the um mushroom and then we'll use dark to do the door but um it's just such a joy to do that and i get so much out of um doing it and helping people and riley just she loves the attention so it it kind of works out for the both of us but um I, I just it's just amazing what the dogs can do well we came back to the lady with the broken leg and she was up and the and the technician was trying to um, um, or the therapist was trying to get her out to get to the doorway of her room so we're standing in the middle of the hallway and I said Violet 
I said, Riley told you, come on, you can do it. Come on out here. Oh, it hurts so bad. I said, that's okay. Come on. She said, you can do it. So she got to the doorway and um, then the, then the, um, tech, the lady had asked her to please go um, walk. There was a little, there was a chair, not too far um, from the doorway, maybe two steps away. Well, she, I said, come on, Riley says you can do it. Riley says you can do it. Well, she got to that door. She got to that chair and sat down. Uh, Riley went over there. She petted Riley and she's like, oh, thank you so much for helping me. I was like, oh my God, but it's so worth it. You know, it's just, it's, it's incredible what dogs do, you know, what they can do for people. And it just, I get so much joy out of it. And when I retired early, I was trying to figure out my purpose in life. And, uh, someone had shared with me about therapy dogs. I had no idea what they were. And this little rescue dog that we got has the temperament that she makes a really good rescue, um, a really good therapy dog. And so we are back doing therapy work. And we might drive, we might also, now they're looking for, they have, um, have you seen like the golf carts that are long, like a limousine, you know, they hold like six people. Well, the parking is so far away, um, some of the parking, you have to park a ways from the, the medical center. And some of these folks are older, right? So it's hard for them to um, walk so they're looking for volunteers to come in and um, I'm gonna do rich razzleberry and I'm trying to decide if I want to do light or dark let me decide uh, let's let's do should we do the light or the dark this one I did dark what do you think should I do light let's do the light um, so they're looking for volunteers and I said well if Riley can go with me I said I'll do it one day a week you know because I think that would be fun picking people up right and so I'm waiting to see she said she'd have to see if, if that's um, acceptable some people aren't dog people which that's fine I understand that but you know if she can go with me I'll do it if she can't I don't know if I'll do it or not but anyways but it's just such a joy to see what these dogs can do you know for people and um, so when I retired early I retired at 56 and I was trying to figure out my purpose in life and I feel like this is what it's supposed to be, is to, to help people and use my dog with that. And um, it's just a, it's a great feeling, you know, when you walk away and people are thanking you and so and they're so happy. Because, you know, think about it. When you're in, if you're in rehab, I've never been in rehab, but if you've been in rehab, you're sitting around in a bed, right? Nothing to do. Nobody to talk to unless you got family there, right? No one's going to talk, you know, unless you're going to watch TV all day or read books. So, you know, you feel bad because um, I'm using crumb cake now in case y'all are wondering. You know, you feel bad um, for these folks. And so, um, anyways, I just felt like it was something I needed to do. And so we did. And um, we enjoy it. And I think Riley enjoys it. She loves the attention. She just, she's a people person. So, all right, I'm going to use the um, Orchid, the light uh, Orchid Oasis. And I'm going to color my two flowers. And then we need to color our gnome. And then um, we'll be done for the evening after we put the card together. All right, so there's the mushroom. And there's my squirrel. Now, we got to color this girl. So, uh, let's see. Uh, ba, 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 what the hell? Let's do, let's reverse. Let's do her, um, I'm going to do her hat in Rich Razzleberry. How's that? And we'll do, um, I'm going to make her, I'm going to make her hair black. Did I do black on the other one? No, I did. Um, let's do her hair. She's going to go black hair. So we're going to make her have black hair. I know, isn't that weird? But that's okay. She's going to have dark hair. Ooh, that's really dark. I don't think I like that. Is this the dark? Oh, this is light. Holy moly. That is really light. What did I, I must have used a different color. I don't think I like that, but too late now. I'm not going to cut another one out. I probably should have cut, cut another one. I know what I'll do. I'll use the, um, the color lifter. That is a little darker than what I was thinking. I'm not sure why this one all of a sudden looks darker than the other one. But that's all right. We'll figure it out. All right, we're going to do the color lifter and lift some of this color up because I think that's too, well, I mean, it's black, but it's not really what I wanted, but that's okay. All right, so let's get the color lifter before this dries and let's just do a little bit of lifting and see if we can lighten this up some. There we 
we go. That'll work. There you go. Just swish it around and get some of that off. That's not so bad. All right, there we go. Get that off there. Okay, so now we'll get back moving along here. And let's do her face. And this is pale papaya. I should have um, grabbed one of the uh, different colors, but that's all right. We'll make them all the same. Oops, got to do her hands. So anyway, so that's what my dog does. So we're gonna we're gonna go every other week. We're gonna do it twice a month. And if we can drive the golf cart, we'll do that. If not, I don't know. We we may I may do it. I don't know. Probably not. I got too much other stuff to do. Okay, so let's see. Let's do her hat in. Um, what color is this? This is the dark. I think I'm gonna do the light. I'm afraid the dark's gonna be way too dark. But we'll do some little markings, just like we've done before. Yeah, that would be too dark. Let's do a little shading there. We gotta color our flower. <clears throat> We're almost done, everyone. Hope you're enjoying this. I'm just sitting here talking along. I was in rehab and isolated because I had COVID. Only people saw was oh, I know. I tell you, I'm seriously. It's you know, I walk in and they're just laying in the bed or they're watching TV or you know. I mean, after so much of laying in the bed, what can you do, right? And if you've got you know, if you're not able to get up and move around, it makes it even harder. And just the fact of somebody coming in, um, no, you know, some people, their families are there, but not everybody has families that live close by, right? And so, um, just the fact that you've got somebody that comes in and, it, and a little doggy or, you know, somebody that's, you know, it just gives, it breaks up the day, I should say. So, and that, and that's nice. I mean, it's, you know, something that we can do that um, it's not that it takes an hour out of my day, you know, for us to do our, we do an hour and then that's it. She can't do much more than that. She's ready to go home. And she knows, she'll tell me when she's ready. She gives me a look and I know, well, gotta go. <laughs> she says, I got to go. Um, we're gonna do Mossy Meadow and I know this is gonna kind of be weird, but let's do, um, I'm gonna do her um, outfit Mossy Meadow. I don't know, I just am. Um, yeah, so the dog, the dogs can tell, well, I will say my dog, I can't speak for other therapy dogs, but my dog can, uh, lets me know when we were in the villages and we used to do work, she, because you figure when we would do assisted living, you know, these people are, you know, they're picking her up, they're petting her, you know, they're pulling, some of them don't realize, you know, they're trying to pull, you know, pet her, but then they're kind of pulling their hair and, and when her eyes get really big and white, then I know it's like, okay, let me have her back. You know, I have to be really nice and say, give me back my dog, you know. But um, it's, but, you know, they got to love them. Got to love them. Okay, let's see. What do we want to do? Let's put, um, let's make her bottom part. We're going to make it the color of her hat. So we're just going to make things a little weird here. But, um, so they do, so about an hour is about all they can take because they got people pulling on them all the time. You know, that's in the therapy. Rehab's a, a little bit different because, it, the, at least what I've seen so far, because they're sitting in a bed, so they're not going to do a whole bunch of pulling on her and stuff. They just sit there and pet her. So, but that's, it's fun. And all, I can't tell you all the staff that came up and said, thank you so much for, um, you know, bringing your dog. So we really appreciate it. And that's such, you know, it's just very gratifying to, to have that. You know that you're doing something good. And I'm doing crumb cake down here in case you're wondering what I'm coloring here. And I did the rich razzleberry. Um, but it, it's nice to know that you're doing something that means something and it's helping people. And she's a read dog. We haven't done that. That's a reading education assistance dog. And what that means, we used to go to first grade. We had first graders that took turns reading to her, and Riley gave homework. So when I introduced her, they're like, what? I said, look, I speak for the dog. She gives homework, <laughs> and her homework was, and in the beginning, the boys, you know, they didn't want to read, right? I'm like, no, Riley says you got to read this one page or whatever. And um, so they... Um, then they, then they got to the point where they loved reading and they wanted to show her pictures in the book. And I'm using Orchid Oasis on this flower. And um, so then they started showing her pictures in the book and they're reading to her. And then I had to get to a point where I had to get, uh, they wouldn't stop reading. I had to say, okay, honey, we got to stop. We have more children that need to read. And then they would, we'd go back in the classroom and we'd have fun Friday. And so um, they would take her back. One of them would take her back and um, 
you know, put her on the, um, they walk her in with, with her and walk her around and then she'd get in a circle, the kids would get in a circle and Riley would do tricks for them and sometimes she can do a little dance. Normally she just does a bunny hop. She can, um, she can do, she knows how to do some tricks, so. But she's a um, pretty smart dog. All right, so we're going to put this right about here. And I'm gonna, I think I'm going to put the, um, so you can see the threads. I'm going to put the little house right there, the little mushroom. And I'm going to add the mouse, I mean the squirrel, the mouse, the squirrel. I know I've been kind of chatty Kathy tonight. What do y'all think? Talking too much? <laughs> so I feel like if I'm in here, and I can't read all the comments because I'm trying to pay attention to get this stuff done right. So I feel like if I'm, um, if I'm, uh, Talking, if I'm coloring, I can't see your comment, so I might as well talk. Okay, we're going to put the little squirrel right there. And then this girl, we're going to pop her up on dimensionals. And then we're going to do um, our sentiment. And I'm going to show you. It might look a little funny, but I'm going to show you how I did that. Um, this right here, how I did the sentiment thing. Okay, I'm going to show you that. <laughs> I'm entertaining. Well, that's a good thing. So, but I just, you know, no sense in having silence. You know, obviously you can tell that I like to talk. All right, we're going to put her right here, just kind of like I did on the other one. All right, now we're going to stamp our sentiment um, on this little sheet right here. Oops, and then we're going to add this to our bottom part of our, inside of our card. All right, we're going to use our Rich, uh, rich Raspberry. You know, these are colors that I, I you know, do you know, do you all usually find that you have favorite colors and you tend to use them all the time? Well, I figured that one out too. And then I start using them that I haven't used in a while. I'm like, gosh, how come I haven't used that color in, you know, in a while? And I guess it depends on the papers that we're using, right? The, um, the designer paper that has the colors in it, that kind of dictates what colors you're using. So I'm, I'm going to use the one that says spring is everywhere and I've got to find, hang on one second, let me get my jewels out because I forgot about those. Um, hang on, I've got to find them. Here they are. I've got to put those on here too. Okay, so we've got spring is everywhere. Now this is what I'm going to do. Y'all are going to think this is a little weird. This is the um, vintage bottle punch. Okay. So I thought I'd do something a little bit different. So I'm going to, I'm going to punch this out. I'm going to push it in here. i got to cut it because i got a little bit too long right here. So let me just cut a little bit off. And I'm going to try to um, round this. Let me see if I can get it. I think that probably looks good about like that. All right, so I'm going to punch that out. Now, you know, we could do a message in a bottle. I could do it like that and just stick that under there, right? But that looks kind of funny. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to trim this um, bottle part off right here. And it might not look even with the bottom part, but it's something different. So there's just a, something else you can do with punches that you may not use that often. So we're going to pop this up on dimensionals. And I'm going to clean up my mess here in just a minute. All right, so we're going to pop this up. And then we're going to um, add, whoopsie, hang on a minute. I got things sticking to me all over. Um, then we'll add some jewels and our inside piece, and then we'll be done for the evening. So spring is everywhere, so we're gonna put that right there. Now the inside, I'm going to add a strip of the coordinating paper, and we're gonna add that to the bottom of our, um, hang on, I gotta get my glue coming out because it's been sitting there now, there we go. Um, just to give it some a little bit of decoration, and um, you know, we could always decorate the envelope, but, I didn't bring the paper to do that, but I bring, just keep in mind, if you have lots of paper laying around and you're not using it, use it to decorate your envelopes and you'll use that stuff up. So no sense in keeping it, you know, if you can use it. So that's what I do. I try to use, especially once it retires and I start using it up and decorate my envelopes. Well, I'm trying to use it now, but even if it's not retired, decorate my envelopes so they coordinate. Okay, so this is the piece that's gonna go on the inside of our card. And I'm not going to put a message in there. I'm going to wait until I need this card, and then I'll um, I'll write something. I'm not sure what I'll do. My glue is getting kind of gunked up in there. I need to wipe it off. All right, so that's going to go here. And then the last thing, so even if you don't decorate your envelope, make sure you at least put something on the inside because that helps. All right, now we're going to put some of these, um, the champagne rhinestones. We'll add some of those. So we're just going to add a few of these. Um, on here 
and I might put one over here on the house. Let's see. Let's do one. Whoops, that guy didn't have any, must not have had any glue on him. He came off. Make sure it's got some glue, some adhesive. Let's put one right about there. And we'll add one more, right? Let's put that one down here. All right, so there is that one. All right, so let me move. Whoopsie, I'm going to be wearing Jules home. All right, so here are the cards that we made this evening. All right, so there they are. What do y'all think about that? Isn't that fun? Aren't they cute? These are so bright. I love the Tahitian tight, and I really do like the Parakeet Party. This one's a little bit more subdued, but that's okay. It's, this would be more like a fall card. And then here are the ones that I initially did in those colors. This is Bermuda Bay. And then this one, of course, was the Starry, starry Sky. So there you go, our cards. So I thought this is a great way that you can get two cards out of one um, design. So I hope you all have enjoyed this, and I hope you like my story time running right my mouth as usual. Um, thank you so much, and I will look into the video last week, and I apologize if it didn't run. It should have ran the whole gamut, but that's okay. Um, make sure you come back next week because I'm going to do um, some fun folds. I found a couple of new fun fold things, so uh, we'll be doing that. So have a great evening. Thank you again for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And if you like this, um, please share it. And I will see you all next Tuesday, I think. I'm pretty sure. And um, so have a great week, a good weekend. And if you need anything, let me know. Reach out to me. You can message me, email me, whatever you want to do. All right. Thanks again, everyone. I'm sorry that we went over time, but hopefully it was worth it.